of a kind I love that you make you proud When I bring them souls to your kingdom Soul winner I'm a starter So in Exodus chapter 2 He is um, 1 through 10 He is conceived And the Bible calls him a goodly child And his mama was able to keep him for three months Ironically she did not name him, and maybe that's not as ironic as it seems, but she did not name him. The Bible says that he was ultimately named, the name that he kept Moses when he was poured out of this river. And so we've got this little baby who is three months old um, floating down the river, and he ends up being noticed by the home of Pharaoh and pulled out of the river and the Pharaoh's daughter just kind of falls in love with him right away realizes that she can't really take care of him because he's so young he still needs to be nursed and so she finds somebody who can do the job and it turns out to be Moses' mom which I think is really cool and if I had time maybe I would preach about that and I'm watching Moses at that point in his life then we leave and we skip almost all of the story and the narrative of Moses and we get to the book of Exodus chapter 14. In Exodus chapter 14, verse number 16, the Bible says, speaking to Moses, but lift up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground in the midst of the sea. And I, behold, will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them, and I will give me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon his host, and upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. Going all the way down to verse number 21, the Bible says that Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all the night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. I take these two passages. safe as we are uh, journey on the way from here back to um, <clears throat> back to our uh, apartment and by the honor and glory goes to you in Jesus name amen 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 in Jesus name me and my lovely wife is out to eat at this awesome Chinese buffet restaurant that we ain't been in a long time since the, uh, the virus hit or whatever so me, I'm eating on some um, some octopus, you know what I'm saying? Ah oh, man, I don't know how, how many yuck. of y'all out there. Hey, it's good. His wife says yuck. Mm. So I'm about to eat with my beautiful wife. Love everybody. <laughs> yeah, he's liking that octopus. I'm not a seafood fan, I ain't feeling it. And, mm. See that? Ooh, I got another one. But uh, yeah, it's good. Don't believe the hype. Don't knock it until you try it. So there's some stuff that I'm not willing to try. There's some stuff I'm willing to try. So we'll catch y'all, you know, on the next one. Hey, glory to God. Go praise God. Find you a church home. And I pray that the Lord bless you with someone who he wants you to be with. So I'll catch y'all.